So yeah, so I went ahead, took the plunge. I jailbroke my iPhone 4 running iOS 5.0.1 using Acid Snow. Acid Snow is nice. It has a very nice interface, I have to admit, although it's still kind of sketchy as to where it came from, who's behind it, etc. So I don't know. Uh, but it does look nice. I have to give it that. There's no denying that it has the console you could show. It has the assistant, which is the DFU mode assistant, which is like an unobtrusive way of showing how to put your device in the DFU mode. That's nice. And one other thing I really like about this is that you don't need to reference any old files when jailbreaking iOS 5.0.1. So as you can see, my device is in DFU mode. I click jailbreak and it goes through fetching the kernel cache and it gives you the full synopsis when you show console there. You don't actually have to show this console. You could just keep the little window there, but I like to see what's going on, what's happening to my iPhone. So it's going through the motions here and it is still going through. It's accident entered, accident DFU in recovery mode here and it is still happening. So let's get back over to our iPhone. Let's see what we have there. As you can see, I have the white screen and it's still going. Not too much to get excited about thus far. Uh, one thing I do notice that's different is that the jailbreak screen just has this little circle logo here. So you're not gonna get the pretty pone apple or anything like that. You're just gonna get some basic loading um, visuals there on the screen. So we should be almost up. There's the Apple logo. Let's scoot back over here to see if we see anything new on the console. Nothing new thus far. Uh, so the console is still showing the same thing. We should be almost back up. There we are, we're back up on our iPhone. It is supposedly jailbroken now, but let's see if we see Cydia. We don't see Cydia, so let's go ahead and put the device back in the DFU mode. Just hold home and power and see what we get here. All right, so we should be back in the DFU mode now. And we'll click on Tethered Boot. It's patching the firmware files. And it is loading, exiting DFU mode. And pretty soon we should see hopefully a white screen on our iPhone 4. Let's give it a few more seconds. And there we go. So there's a white screen. It should be booting back up here momentarily. Okay. So there we go, there is our iPhone screen. Let's hop over and see if we have Cydia now. It is a white icon, but let's tap on it and it does look like it may load up Cydia. So it is, it's preparing the file system. You'll probably just need to do another tether boot to get the Cydia logo to be normal. But it does work, as you can see, the uh, jailbreak does work. It does install Cydia um, and that is very encouraging for any potential Acid Snow users here. So like I said, it does load up. There we go. And uh, we're good to go. So what I really like about Acid Snow is that, number one, you don't have to reference any previous firmware. It just works. Unlike Red Snow, which can't jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 without referencing you know, previous firmware and things like that, this allows you to do so outright. I know in the beginning there was a little controversy over Acid Snow as far as which files it used to perform the jailbreak. I think that's been cleared up now, but still, you may want to use Caution when using this. If you're not experienced, just stick with the normal Red Snow jailbreak. But if you want to take the plunge, try Acid Snow and let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.